hey there. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Try to get me some more of these pudding cups, would you? No, don't mention food. Oh, Jesus, Lip, really? It smells like a distillery in there. Celebrating my graduation. Getting drunk in the middle of the day with him? Are you an idiot? <laughs> Look, can we save the mommy lecture for tomorrow, please, when my head isn't pounding so much? Get up, get home, get sober. We're planning a surprise party for you. It's not a surprise, I already know. Well, Debbie and Carl are waiting in the lobby, so take them with you. This isn't gonna be fun. Yeah, and grab your surprise ice cream cake out of the freezer. Start to frost in it. Okay. <laughs> Three raw eggs, Worcestershire, and a sliver of ginger. Works every time. <laughs> Jesus. No HBO, no Showtime, just basic cable. And what the hell is a Tosh 2.0? Did the doctor talk to you, Frank? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Stop drinking, blah, 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 blah. That told me you were really sick. Do I look really sick to you? It said you were throwing up blood. That's because I've got too much of it in me. It's a filtration process. My body knows how to flush itself out. Stop joking. This is serious. It's just Dr. Mumbo Jumbo to scare you into taking more tests. Fucking parasites. What? What are you doing? I gotta use the can. What? Let's get the nurse. I don't like the one that's on duty. She's fat. Roll that thing behind me, will you? Oh. You said if you don't stop drinking, you're gonna die. As in, dead. You know, like no longer living. And soon. When did you start to care? I'm not sure that I do. I've dreamt about your death. Put money in a collection box and prayed for it. Blew out my birthday candles. Wished for it. <laughs> If it actually ever happened, I don't know if I'd feel relief or guilt. <laughs> Your birthday candles? <laughs> I wrote a letter to Santa once. <laughs> so I'm supposed to stop drinking so that you don't feel guilty? No. You're supposed to stop drinking because you have children at home who love you. And I don't know why. Who would be destroyed if anything happened to you? Tragedy makes kids tough, Fiona. And be the fabulous narcissist that you are and do it for yourself. What if I don't want to change? Then I would know what I've always feared is true. What is that? That you don't give a shit about any of us. So do it for you. Do it for your kids. It doesn't matter.